folks and welcome to another episode of MDI TV brought to you by Poorly Creative. Uh, today we'll be focusing on advanced segments in Google Analytics, um, give you a bit of a, an inside view into how you can segment your traffic and find useful bits of information to help you develop and improve your marketing campaigns. Um, before I kick off I just want to highlight our EcoBuild tweet up um, on the 21st of March at the event. Uh, we'll be recording MDI TV at the event so if you want to be included in the uh, in the episode please do tweet us at Poorly Creative or if you're doing something interesting at the show, you've got a seminar or you're having some product demonstrations or whatever it may be let us know and we'll, we'll try and get some uh, video footage and include you in an episode that rounds up um, EcoBuild as part of the MDI TV series. Uh, the other thing I just want to quickly mention is our SEO workshop on 19th of April. Uh, if you want to know more about how to increase the visibility of your website and search engines, how to use Google Analytics to measure your efforts, um, and looking at how to develop content as well. So that's a workshop uh, for building product manufacturers, marketers within um, product manufacturing companies. Um, if you go to the website bit.ly forward slash MDI events 2012 and you can book your places there, more the merrier. Um, that's on 19th of April here at Milton Keynes. Right, okay, let's kick off. Um, advanced segments. What are advanced segments? Well, in analytics, um, you'll be able to break down um, your visitor data into more meaningful data, um, things that you really want to, to find out. And a good way uh, of explaining that is if you're uh, reporting, or if your agencies or your internal teams are reporting on a monthly basis, visitor data to your website, uh, you may see over a period of time that your visitor levels look something like this, and that little bump there is you know, a campaign or um, something that you did offline that caused lots of people to come to your website. Um, what Advanced Segments does is uh, really breaks down all of this um, area here uh, into other bits of data. So one of the um, examples might be mobile traffic. So something in there will be mobile traffic. So there, there's a, a portion of visits that come from mobiles. Um, there may be search engine traffic, which looks something like this. Um, and then there might be uh, returning visitors um, that look something like this. So it's, it's identifying the various different segments as part of the whole aggregated uh, number of visits that come to your website. So in analytics, you've got a set number of um, predefined segments. And I'll go through each of those um, and explain what they are. Uh, if you go into your inner analytics and at the top you've got advanced segments, if you click on that, um, on the left hand side you'll, be, you'll see this list. Um, and the first segment is new, uh, new visits. So what we're looking at here is all of your visits, what percentage of those visits are new visits. Um, and this kind of helps you identify how many new people are coming to your website uh, in a relative time period. So every month you may want to look at how many new visitors have come to your website. Returning visits. So how many people have come back within four weeks or six months or 12 months have come back to your website for more information. This is particularly useful for those of you who've got blogs, um, develop case studies on a regular basis, news stories. Um, you may even um, have a login area. So you want to see how many people keep coming back to your website to log in for more information or read more information. Uh, the next one is paid, so paid visits. So if you, those of you who are doing um, pay-per-click advertising, uh, this is the bucket or the segment um, that it falls into. Non-paid is organic traffic uh, from search. So you can see um, or split up all search traffic by paid and non-paid. You can also do this through the search report itself. Um, and then you've got your uh, two sources of, of, of um, traffic, search and referral. So break down all of these visits into just search visits. So this one we said earlier was search. So just show me the number of people that or visits that come to my website from a search engine. Then you've got referral. Referral is uh, referrals from other websites. And some of those could be social media sites, it could be um, supply chain partner websites where they've got a link um, from their website to yours, um, or it could be directories. Um, so they, they fall under the referral traffic. You might want to segment 
referral traffic on a regular basis if you're starting to do lots of advertising or you've started to do more um, directory advertising so you may want to segment that traffic and just view over a period of time is it getting better is it less is it the same um, and the quality of traffic that's coming from those websites most importantly and a very important one I always kind of mention that anything to do with conversions is important this is where leads are generated this is where goals happen on your website um, visits with conversion. So here's all of your visits um, and what you want to do is just take the amount of visits that are in conversion. So it might be something like this. It might be a very small percentage of visits that actually turn into leads or, or subscribe for more information or download uh, PDFs or subscribe for login uh, for CAD drawings, etc. Or it might be somewhere around here. But you need to segment it out. You need to understand, is it getting better? Um, is, are there ways of um, improving the number of people that sign up for things and download more information? Uh, one very popular one there that um, is becoming more and more apparent, more we do it as well, um, is mobile traffic. Um, mobile traffic as a percentage of all of your uh, visits could range from somewhere like 1% or it could be as much as 5 or 10% depending on your audience. Um, one client that we have, their uh, percentage of mobile traffic it hovers around 5%, which is pretty high considering that um, the industry that we're in, um, the type of people, um, whether they're office based or on site based, um, usually most of the time it's uh, on-site engineers that are visiting the website from a mobile device or a tablet device. So one that is, um, I may talk about in another episode on how and what to look out for. Final set one is non-bounce. People that have viewed more than one page. Um, remember the bounce is basically someone who's come to your website, landed on a page and then left the site. Um, and I always kind of have to say, uh, as a bit of advice, uh, bounce rate for blogs is um, an iffy one because people come to your blog, read one post, and then they leave. So, you know, get worrying about your bounce rate for your blog is, is not really a big issue. It's more of your product pages or um, your main internal website pages that you want to look at. Right, okay, so they're standard and uh, advanced segments in analytics. However, there's a, a custom set of uh, advanced segments that I like to use on. Um, our, our clients' websites that give us a bit more information as to the uh, effectiveness of uh, marketing campaigns that we develop. So, okay, the first one is brand keywords. And, and if you go back to another episode of MDI TV where I talk about the um, difference between brand and non brand within search engines, brand, if I just remind you quickly, is those. Um, visitors who have come to your website from a search engine having typed in your company name or your product name or some sort of brand name or employee, um, something that's connected with the company. Non-brand is those who have mentioned or searched for no brand in particular, no product name in particular, uh, no employee, um, so very generic loose terms. So for example, a non-brand keyword might be um, timber decking, uh, it might be rainwater harvesting for education sector, you know, no particular brand names. The other segment really is campaigns and segmenting uh, all of this data into campaigns. So uh, what we want to do is take out our campaign data and we can see then something that may look like that. Email campaign one, email campaign two and a direct mail campaign three and segmenting that data and having a look at um, did they stay on the site, what pages did they view, uh, did they then go and sign up for more information, did they go and download brochures. So segmenting your campaigns is absolutely crucial in assessing how well they performed. Another one I like is um, the number of keywords that people use within search engines to get to your site. And looking at the volumes, so how many visits have come from someone that's just entered one word into a search engine? How many have come from entering two words, three words, four words, five words? And it helps you assess the long tail. Um, and this is a very, uh, it's, it's a complex procedure set up. You need to know a bit of uh, what's called regex to, to kind of set up an advanced segment in that way. If you want to know more, please do email me or call us or tweet me. Um, and I'll quite happily uh, give you a tutorial. But again, go back to the workshop. If you want to learn more of that, please do attend the workshop. Social media traffic. Look at your social media traffic. Don't just look at twitter.com as part of the referral 
or Facebook, what you need to do is create a segment of Twitter, Facebook, Hootsuite, LinkedIn, uh, mobile Facebook, uh, TweetDeck, all sorts of referrals are linked to social media. So Reddit, Delicious, StumbleUpon, uh, all these websites that are part of the um, social media um, social media platforms. Um, the next one is brand loyal visitors. One that I like, one that people don't really talk about, but I particularly like because I want to know how many people come to the, for example, the poorly creative website. They've typed in the poorly creative um, company name into Google. They come to the website and they consume more than three pages of information, and they stick around on the site for more than two minutes, let's say, um, and they end up. Uh, downloading one of our ebooks. For me, that sort of visitor is a you know, really good visitor, and I want to know how many of those visitors come to my website on a monthly basis. It might be, only be one or two, but they're the kind of uh, visitors that I want on my website. I want the people that come to my website time and time again, they read lots of content, they stick around, uh, they share it within LinkedIn, they share articles on Twitter, they download our ebooks, they subscribe to my uh, newsletters. All of that kind of stuff um, is, is what I want to know. And it only may be two or three a month, but I need to know that two or three are, are, are maintained. And, and all of a sudden, if I lose those, I need to develop more good content. Uh, finally, location. Um, one of our clients particularly focus on uh, developing business, driving traffic, um, getting orders from a particular location. So it's a facilities management company in London that only really wants to target the London area. So I'll seg segment all of the traffic that comes to the website from London. Um, so I'll, I'll look at what pages what they land on, what do they type into Google to get to the website. If I'm optimizing the website for facilities management company in London, I want to know that the number of visitors that are coming to the website are increasing and they're consuming more um, content and they're also subscribing to the blog and they're also sending in inquiries as well. So hopefully that kind of explains a little bit about uh, advanced segments and how they can help you um, understand all of that visitor data. So just looking at visit da visitor data and going 15,000 visits uh, on a monthly basis, great, uh, the website's doing well. Uh, my advice would be to just dig a little bit deeper, um, break that data down into small chunks and maybe just pick a few segments here and there and start optimising or start developing campaigns targeted for regions or social media campaigns. Um, again, if you'd like to know more, please do uh, tweet us at Poorly Creative. Uh, if you want more information on our tweet up or the workshop, then please do let us know. Join us again next time. Thanks. you.